Hello, everyone. Welcome. Of course, glad you're here. This is my uh, new trading series to go over what I just said I started yesterday, start documenting it, um, and also to share the opportunity coming up with myself with Jim Ant. Uh, we're going to be collaborating, working together. Details will come hopefully in a few weeks to open that up, to start um, seeing who those want to join. Basically, it's going to be a collaboration of joint funds where we're going to have a portion for trading. We're going to have a portion that's going to be for yield farming for some projects. We're going to work together on that. We're going to basically have it. We'll be paying out probably a monthly distribution to those who, who purchase in um, and just having a certain amount compound, a certain amount go to pay out, a certain amount to reinvest back in to keep growing the portfolios, to keep growing that uh, monthly um, income and hopefully do so, you know, for, for indefinitely. That was always the vision I had. Um, Jim Ant had a great vision with all these teams and team models he does. I think the group team collaboration and grouping funds is always a strong way to do so. And I think we have a good one-two punch that could really deliver and give that to all of you. So here to show a little bit of most recent trades, I want to show what I started. I'm going to document, I said, as of yesterday, I started with just a hundred dollars um, in a Bybit account. Okay. So here, what I'm doing is I'm following wave counts. So I have wave counts here. You can see these are numbered. And this particular one of the short, I just did an ETH, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna to have to share it on my screen, on my phone. So I'll share my screen here, my phone in a second for my Bybit account. Uh, my VPN with this is not at playing nice with me right now on my browser, but it still works fine on my phone. So with this particular one, what we're looking to do is find the retracement. So I shorted a real quick short, very small, or earlier today. So let me just see what I did real fast, one second. I came over to my Telegram group here. This is the one I did today. Let me put, blow it up a little. So I shorted ETH on a 49X short, made 28.68%. I got in at 9.15, I got out at 9.04. I wanted it to go a little lower, but once I was in profit, I started moving my trailing stop lower and the trailing stop got hit here, but hey, we locked in 28.68%. So what I was looking to do here is when you get these wave counts, a certain measurement. So for this one particularly, I'll just show you here. I go here to the right of my fit retracement tool. I start from the bottom of wave one to the top of wave five. So you can see that there. And what I was targeting was about the 618, is called the golden pocket right here, 618 retracement. At a minimum 50% retracement, but I was targeting down here. So my initial sell price was to try to hit down here, but it was moving very volatile. volatile. So what happened was as I was moving my trail stop, I got in here. So I shorted at, what was the price again? I shorted at 9.15, so I got in my short right around here. As this 23 level, I didn't think it would break back higher, but you can never always make the exact top, right? So I got in here at that 9.15 level, and I had my profit try to get out down here. But as I was moving my trailing stop, is I, these things can move against you. Nothing's perfect, nothing's set in stone, and also no one ever loses money taking a profit. That's a golden rule. You don't lose money when you take a profit. So the golden rule there. So as it was going lower, I was right about here. I was trying to squeeze a little bit longer down here. And if you can see, there's a wick here. Let me see if you can see it. There's a wick. And that wick on the way up is what got me out right about here, that 904. Um, it did go a little bit lower. Um, this might have been the max I was waiting for, because you can see it retraced back up. And now we're above higher. So had I not had that trailing stop, I would be all the way back up and lost all that profit. I'd be all the way back basically to break even, because I was reaching here. But again, you move your trailing stop to lock in that profit. That is how I looked for, and that is what I did in that trade. So now let me try to show you here um, for that what I have on my account. So since I started there, let me go over to where it is. One second. So I started just yesterday with $100.64. These are all the trades I've made. I'm going to show you them here in the account. My very first one, I hit a BNB short. Um, basically, I shorted 4.55 B of BNB, um, of course, using leverage on Bybit. So I was able to short up to $1,500 when I only had $100 in the account. I was able to control that much BNB, made $21 in profit, 1.45%. My next trade was a short of ETH of a half of ETH, which is $900. Um, I lost a dollar there, so I lost a small percentage. The next short was of Bitcoin. I made a small profit of $2.50, only a quarter percent there. This is how much I got in. This is where I got out of each one. You can see some of these are super tight. Again, because the markets are going crazy. And then today, because it was CPI data, I put some of these in. La I put this one in last night. I did these these morning. But was wait, I was doing this right before the CPI data. So I was trying to play, see long, short, what was going to be the best option here. Um, because I didn't know which way the market was going to go. We were waiting for the CPI print to come out. 
Um, so with these two longs, they were half each, half each. Um, this long here, I lost $1.93, but then after CPI data came out and I, and I saw what I wanted to do here, I got back in. I was able to lock in a 2% move for $19.11. And then right afterwards, when it went up, I turned around and shorted. I see it went to 19.22, I got stopped out at, let the market play out for a while. Then I got into a short at 9.15, wrote it back down to 9.04 to capture another $13, another four half a percent. Um, and, I, and in that one, I went as high as 1.48 ETH. So I went much bigger there when I felt the trend and I felt the charts um, were gonna re retrace back like I just showed you on the FIB levels. And that's what I did see. So, so far I'm up $53 and I'm showing here 53.31 profit. So let me show you that now on my Bybit account on my phone. Give me one second. All right, so some technical difficulties. If you look here in the very bottom right, you can see that BNB short that 21.7927, almost $21.80 profit of the 4.45 BNB that I shorted. So I'm going to show you those here. First, I made 77.95%. You can see got in, in at 3.30, got out at 3.25. That's awesome there. Then on the short of ETH number two, I lost a dollar and two cents. Technically, I was up 2% of that trade, but when I closed it out because of the borrowing cost being long 100X on the um, leverage, um, actually for the borrowing cost, I lost a dollar, even though I technically was up in the trade, but hey, whatever, it's fine. Then I'm up $2.49, so basically two fifty. I closed a very quick, small short. That one, I put this in last night, and it closed last night on its own. So um, it stopped out for me with a small profit. So the trade there, I made 29.74%. It was a small short here. I didn't put much in. I only basic, but I made a nice 30%, but I only put in 0.035 of, of Bitcoins. It was a small dollar amount, so I made 250. Then here on the ETH earlier today, as I said, there was different playing back and forth. First on my long, I closed it out for the half of ETH. So I lost $1.92, so I did lose 8.6% on that trade. And then as I scroll down, I made a nice, followed it up with a long, once CPI data came out and I went long and made a nice move there, made $19 in profit for 215.15% of the long 100 um, X um, leverage long, made more than 215%, a really nice move, a 40 points on ETH there, really nice profit for the amount that I put in, made $19. And then I turned it right around and I shorted um, ETH, making another $13.19 as you see in green there and the realized profit and loss for a total profit of 28.68%. Um, making about 11 points on the short after the long. So I wrote it up, turned around short it, and wrote it right back down as I showed you on that FIB retracement and that FIB level I was looking to hit um, from earlier in the video. So if I get out here and I go out of this account and I go to the assets, $35 is a few dollars I have in the account just for me separately, but in the derivatives here, this is the trading, like I said, started with $100 even, I could $100 and a few cents as you see in the spreadsheet. And as of right now, there's 154.29. So I'm basically up 53% in only two days of trading. And they've only had locked in um, those small amount of trades uh, that you just saw. So let me go back now to finish this up over here. So as you can see here, as I said, you can see these one trades, one, two, three, four, five, only six trades so far. In these six trades, I've already been able to lock in some big wins. So these big wins are holding out, taking small losses, tight stop losses there. You know, I have maybe to lose five to $10 a trade on some of these maximum. So right now 53% with $100 there. And as I showed you before earlier with the way I was tracing here. So I'll be seeing what other ones coming. I try to stick to some of the main coins here. XRP, I trade Solana. Arbitrum, I started playing with a little bit. ADA, I feel comfortable. ETH, I feel comfortable. Definitely with Bitcoin. Looking to see what other patterns here. As you can see with my Lux Algo, I'm looking for patterns. Right now, this is a one, two, three. And that three was kind of short, so that, that invalidates that. There's certain rules in that, and I just said, so right now, am I just looking at this? It's not where I want to get in yet. It hasn't formed a pattern, but I do 15 minute. I trade on the one hour. This is the one hour chart. I'll see which which form here. You can see right here, there's a big bull flag. Um, the four hour chart for longer trends, you know, so I kind of look back and forth. The longer trend is still bullish here with a bull flag on the four hour chart. That other one here I'm showing is all the way down to the 15 minute chart. Sometimes when I want to make these small moves and higher leverage ones, I want to get in for tight moves on the 15 minute chart. So I hope you found value. I hope you see this is something here. I'm going to keep documenting this, keep showing in my Telegram group. So if you want to join, please link below the Telegram group. Hey, give this a like, give this a subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. This is something I want to focus on more myself. 
And then basically the only projects I'll try to cover is the ones we do collaborative with myself and Jim. I am looking forward to opportunity. I think it's going to be really great for the rest of this year, going into next year's 2024, hopefully four year cycle, hopefully after the having a nice big long bull run for the next couple of years. And this and those combined, I think could really help us uh, really do well um, in these markets and get out of this crazy fiat. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found value. More to come. Stay tuned. Join the group. Stay tuned. Get ready to join that in a couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll have some more to get ready uh, for people to how to participate and how to get into this collaboration and get um, hopefully, now again, nothing promises, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, but hopefully we could profit on the two combined. Everybody could win across the board. Thanks again. And as always, here is to your success.